to users with administrative privileges, a very important aspect of our site that is going to greatly enhance the way you organize your data and then how quickly you can find your data. And that is this function called content tagging. So if you go to on the left here, you go to admin and click on admin and go down to account settings and click on account settings. Under your organization settings, click on content tagging. There are three key categories here. So you have categories, skills, and levels. When you're a new user, you will get a default set of options here that we will provide, and then you can customize it to what you would like. So for example, under skills, these are all the skills that I have currently created on my site. You can add new skills. For example, you can say half volley, and then add the skill and now you've got another tag that you've created. If you'd like to take that out, all you have to do is click the X and it goes out. Same thing for your levels. If you want to create a new level, for example, you can say grassroots as one of your new levels, then you can create that again, or you can exit out and now you have these three basic levels. Once you come here and you select your skills, levels, and categories, then it, it enables you to tag these aspects to the data that you upload. So for example, if we went to community and we went to community home and you wrote a new comment, say, um, good job today on training was your post. And you said, this is about, so you see this about button here. If you click it, you said, this is about performance. Now it would tag this category to this post and then you just post it to the site. And you can see that the post got shared with everyone and it's been tagged by performance. And so people who see this post get a sense of, okay, this is related to performance or nutrition or training. Um, I wanna show you how now you can filter using content tagging. So if we go to training here on the left and click it and then click on drills, this will take you to your drills database. Now you can see that I have many drills on serve and pattern of, patterns of play, ground strokes. If I wanted to find drills that pertain to, let's say a skill, so let's pick serve. And I click that, now it's found my drills that are uh, related to serve. And the way it did that was because I tagged serve when I created the drill. Similarly, if I wanted to find drills that were related to um, the beginner level, now it would filter by beginner level drills. And the way you do this is you can create a new drill through this plus sign up here and click new drill, or you could click this box here on the right click it and then click new drill. Now let's say we created a new drill. We name it, we describe it. You don't have to put in an estimated time, but now is where content tagging comes into play. So if you click this box of skills, you can select the skill that this drill applies to. So for example, I can click volley, overhead, and net game to say that this drill applies to, so let's just name it net game test as my name of the drill. I have selected the skills that it applies to and let's say this drill applies to the beginner and the intermediate level. Now I'm going to go and save this drill to my database. So if I go back here to the drills, now if I want to find by beginners, I will see that net game test is now part of my drills. The same way if I want to if I want to filter by both beginner and by let's say volley, then it'll filter by those two aspects and you can see quickly I can find net game test. So the idea of content tagging is it allows you to quickly find information on the site. And so anytime you upload new information such as a drill, lesson plan or video, or a comment, we always recommend that you tag it to a skill and a level so later you can find it very easily.